Kiatua ke au mi mi ngā kōrero o ki tūpuna i tīmata ngā kōrero A tihei te mauri o te ora Tihei te mauri o te ora Tō whakarau i ka mai rau i te tūen nui o tēnei wharekai o tātau Te whakanui te kaupapa nui whakahara hara kai mua noho ki te aro aro Hei tautou ka noho ki te kaupapa nui whakahara hara Hei te whakawhari ki hei mua te aro aro te marea i tēnei pū Nō rene i aku iti, i aku rahi E aku whakatama rahi ki te rangi e kore te puno o mihi e marari e ngari i a patato Mō ake tonu atu, tēnā hūta, tēnā hūta, o ti a kia rangi tātou kato
looked up to, who have seen a part of our community for years stand on stage and give their all. They did the haka kamate. They said, do we have unified actions to the haka kamate? Papa Napa said, no, you need it. It's freestyle. So they went on stage freestyle. We were watching all of these actions go, where did they come from? I remember one Uncle Nappa's one, we still talk about it now. He grabs up, oh no, it's a king buddy, and he pulls it down. And it was a, it would be called it the last suit. Look around it, grab, pull down. Loved it. Absolutely and genuinely loved it. Etu Fano is something special. It's something that we have all practiced in our own way and it's always been in a kind of ad hoc manner. But the Etu Fano umbrella has given us something to focus. Tu Wharatua, this is something that has a deep meaning to us as a tribe, to us as hapu, to us as Fano. Uh, for Tu Wharatua, all the values that encompass this kaupapa, e tu whānau, are encapsulated within um, thing, our stories, our history, what's passed down from generation to generation. And it's about nurturing our children, about looking after each other. And over time, through whatever factors, we've been disconnected from that, our very tikanga. And it's our tikanga that will save us. And as we've heard earlier tonight from many people um, that have been in, in this sort of work and worked in the trenches, is that we've been trying to address something in a non-Māori manner. It's not that this is a Māori, specifically a Māori problem, but we're addressing it as Māori in a Māori manner by with at place solutions for at place issues. And one of the main issues that's in front of Māori now are our generations to come. They're our future. And if we can't create a safe place for them now, then we've failed in every other enterprise that we've an initiative that we engage in. It's not worthwhile unless we can look after our children. And as you've heard tonight, let let them be the best that they can with the support that comes from us as iwi, as hapu, as farmers.